celebrating 28 years, so far, of teaching Photoshop. Here's Dave Cross with another in his series of 28 Photoshop tips. Well, we're almost done. This is tip number 27 out of 28, and this one involves using adjustments as a smart filter instead of adjustment layers. And there's a very interesting possibility here. Of course, you can always add adjustment layers to an image and paint on the mask. What if you try to do several adjustment layers and have to paint on the mask for each one of them? Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go here on this image and say let's add a levels adjustment layer and I'll just make an adjustment here and then we'll go in and also do hue saturation. Let's say I want to go into the yellows and push the saturation more there and one more let's do uh, maybe photo filter so now as you can see I have three adjustment layers but now if I decide that I only want to affect a certain area for example I don't want to affect this area over here I would paint with black on the sky but then have to either go on to each layer mask and do the same or duplicate the layer mask which I could do I could option or alt drag and then replace and then do that again but if I need to do further adjusting I have to keep doing that so another possibility which is really quite interesting is if we take this background layer and we convert it to a smart object now when we go to these adjustments here like levels and curves you'll see what happens is they appear as smart filters hmm. so now if I continue adjusting we'll also do uh, what else we do hue saturation and we went to the yellows and did something like this and I also went and did a photo filter and pushed that up but you see the difference is now I have one mask so if I start painting on the mask you'll see it's going to affect all of those filter adjustments at once so now it's allowing me to continue to adjust the one mask for all three so I gotta say this, I'm a huge fan of adjustment layers, but there are times more and more now where I'm starting to use these adjustments as smart filters because of this reason, because they share one active layer mask for all of those adjustments. So take note of this, it's a pretty interesting possibility when you're trying to do this kind of adjustment with multiple adjustments, but share the same one mask. So check back one more time, we've got one more tip to go. Uh, uh.